Yeah, shut that door. All right, see you guys. Posted on my story to ask some questions that you guys may have. So, so what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be answering some questions with my my guy Kai Shively. I'm sure you guys know him from the other videos. All right, so he's going to take a car real quick because you know he's also a businessman. <laughs> Well, so the first question is for me anyway. It's the first question is how much did you weigh six months ago before the transformation? So honestly, before the transformation, that's when I really started lifting. I was about 115 and, you know, six months later, I put on about 40 pounds of lean muscle mass and I'm weighing in about 155, 160-ish right now. So what motivation did you tell yourself or did you have to start on your journey? So for me, I mean, if you're talking about my fitness journey, it was always just you know, I always played sports, I always played basketball, and I never wanted to be skinny. I mean, who does? Like, no one wants to be skinny. And then also, I just started seeing, like, and realizing that to become, like, the man you want to become, you got to put on that muscle, you got to put on that size, because no one's going to truly respect you if you're just a small guy. So, that's really where I got most most of my motivation from. Um, Of course, I also wanted to look good and feel good, be more confident. All of those things. But yeah, that's that's where I got my main source of motivation from, I would say. All right, and then the next question is, do you do any plyometrics? So we both play basketball. Um, I am I don't do much plyometrics. I used to when I was younger, when I you know was more focused on basketball. But I'm going to let Kai add to this one. So pretty much I focus on plyometrics like twice a week. Focusing more on like your knee strength, I get more explosive. It's definitely important. And make sure you just have that explosiveness while you're hitting like some Bulgarian split squats or um, some box jumps and stuff. Yeah, so exactly. So if you really just focus on the plyometrics and you're trying to get balance, I mean, it's it's bound to happen. You're bound to get the bounce eventually if that's what you focus on. But yeah, I personally don't do much plyometrics. I know he does. That's why he's more explosive and athletic than me. I'm ready. All right, next question. Do you take it creatine or anything else? You know, I do take creatine. It is hard to stay consistent with it. Uh, recently this new year, I have been consistent. So actually for the last three days today, because of, today's January 30th, I have been consistent with taking it daily, just five grams. Um, it also asks what type of creatine, just any type of, you know, creatine monohydrate. It doesn't really matter where you get it from because truthfully, it's all the same. As long as I've been seeing a lot of stuff on the TikTok shop, I would not suggest drinking it from there because bro, you don't know if that's, if it's laced with like fentanyl or something, it's just not worth it. When you're getting creatine for like $5 and it's like a pound of creatine for five bucks, bro, it's not worth it. Don't even take the risk. Go to your local GNC or vitamin shop and just get it from there, you know? All right, then we got someone asking, how long do you spend at the gym every day on average? Um, You know, truthfully, it depends. We usually work out together, so anywhere from like, I mean, 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Like, like a little all day would take like an hour and like 15 minutes and then a little shoulder day would hit like 45 minutes 45 minutes an hour a push day takes like an hour 30 minutes hour to about two hours yeah for sure and it also depends if we're filming or not because if you're filming it just naturally will take longer because you know you're not as diligent on the actual sets and the working reps but um, without filming i mean you really all you need is like 40 fit 45 minutes to an hour truthfully every day if you want to take rest days, take rest days. But I truthfully tell people that, you know, don't take rest days. Life will give you rest days. Like some days you just can't go to the gym. Some days this gym's not open, whatever it is. But yeah, as long as you're actually you're trying to stay consistent and get in there every day and give it a good workout and that's all that really matters. Can you drop the workout? Okay, so I'm assuming you're asking Shadley this one. So Shadley, go ahead and ask, answer that. Well, honestly, it depends, right? So it depends what one must see want to work and... Uh... Usually, I'm like a little pull. They would start with some, with some pull ups, and then we'd go to some lat pull. All right, instead of listening to them, man, let's go, go apply for the one on one coaching we offer. You know, training routines customized for your goals, nutrition plans, 24 uh, 7 tech support, everything under the sun that you're going to need to reach your fitness goals. And yeah, that's truthfully it, man. We can't give away the sauce for free. That's the snack. Show the camera. Go to the bro, man. Some water. I'll take a water. It's all. It's my drink. All right, next question. What do you eat in a day? I mean, obviously, if you see my diet, it's not its not the best. We eat top ramen, I eat bonus, Skittles, candy, you know what I mean. Uh, as a kid, bro, just focus on getting your macros, like not all your macros, just mainly get your calories in if you're trying to bulk. Um, get your protein in. You should be getting about at least one gram per, body, per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 150, get 150 grams of protein in. I personally track my macros. You don't have to, but... I definitely would recommend it if you want to stay consistent and then really 
you know, really be able to track your progress. What do you eat in a day? Because this guy has the craziest lunches. His mom makes the best lunches ever. I have an Asian mom, but I'm gonna have an amazing breakfast. So I eat soft with like bagels, some eggs. And then in the lunchtime, that's where I really get my protein in. It's kind of like interesting food, but it usually involves a lot of meats and um, rice, of course. Uh, what was your diet that made you gain weight? Honestly, bro, just eat as much calories as you can. Don't even fucking worry about your diet. Honey on the on the cereal. Yeah, I mean, I was putting the honey on my fruity pebbles every morning. Like I didn't. Yeah, I was not eating healthy, but I mean, it worked. They're coming there a little better. Got some hooligans in the background. Hold this. Wait. Yeah, I'm. Gonna all right, next question we got is, um, where are you guys from? So basically, if you are asking this question, then we're from Maui, Maui, Hawaii. Yeah, we're from Maui, um, born and raised. Right now we're on Molokai, which is just another island in Hawaii. But yeah, that's the answer to that question. Someone asked, do you like cars? Actually, I fucking love cars. Um, when I'm older, I'm... But yeah, to answer that question, when I'm older, I'm definitely going to have a crazy car collection, straight supercars. I'm going to be whipping a Lambo very soon. I promise you that I'll be pushing a Lambo by 18, at most by 18. Yeah, Shadow, you like cars? I'm not really a car guy. He's not really a car guy. He's just, he's more like interested in, you know, other things, more interesting things probably. I just want a Tesla. Where he wants a Tesla. Or, you know, I'm sure he'll get there one day. All right, we have someone who asked, can you help me find the right healthy meals to eat? Because I don't work out, but I don't know what nutrition to eat. So if you have problems with nutrition, bro, and you don't work out, I definitely recommend you start working out. And I can 100% help you reach whatever goals you have for yourself. Um, start working out. You're going to build some much better confidence. I'll help you with your nutrition, everything like that. Just comment on this video or, you know, text me on Instagram and I'll make sure to get you that application for one-on-one -on -one coaching. And we'll book our call and really just discuss everything that you'll need to know. If I'm skinny fat, should I bulk or cut to burn the stubborn fat and then bulk? Bro, if you're skinny fat, first of all, you just need to start working out more. Hit more compound lifts because you'll start to put on a little bit of muscle and that will boost your metabolism. So you naturally just burn fat as you rest and things like that. But once you start getting that muscle, you'll start to see it a little bit more and you'll also be, you know, putting off that fat a little bit. But if you have the fat and you have more muscle, it'll look normal. It'll look like you just bulk. So definitely bulk up, get some more muscle on, and then just cut from there. All right, someone asked the biggest girl ick. What, what's your biggest girl ick? Bigger the camera. I, I don't know. All right, I answer that question. Why not? He has a girlfriend, but, you know, we all have our girl icks. You want to answer that? His girlfriend's perfect for him, so he doesn't have to answer that. Peace. It's peace. All right, so... My favorite song right now, someone asked that. Hey, what are you only like November. Yeah, only like God. Oh, only like Big Goddy's trip. Um, something crazy is that me and Shadley used to always bump Polo G together. We oh, knew yeah. every lyric to every song. Sure. Uh, right now, it's gotta be something by Kanye. You know, he's the go. Maybe Drake, too. Um, I'm not really sure if I have an answer for that because, you know, music sounds just so good, especially right now. But yeah, do you have an answer for that? What's your favorite song? I can't really say on the spot, but I've been something some black eyed peas lately. Black eyed peas, I'm mm, on his name. That's in the gym for sure. Yep, yep. All right, I'm gonna let Shively pick a question. What? Go ahead and answer it quick. Oh, that one. Someone named Kai Mullen. I'm 430 and I'm 4 of 3. Is it over for me? 430 pounds at 4 3, is it over for you, bro? I mean, it's going 100 day fast. 100 day fast is probably <laughs> bro. That's kind of crazy. Oh, so we have someone named Dejan. Shout out to Dejan, bro. Remember when I found your suitcase when your car got broken into in San Francisco? Yes, I remember you, bro. Crazy story. My uncle's Tesla got broken into. The glass just got shattered. San Francisco is not a place for a Tesla. It's known that they just get robbed. Um, I just had landed and was hooping at a local gym and they took my suitcase. I had like three pairs of Kobe's in there. Luckily, this guy found them. Um, on the other end of the street somewhere across the highway or whatever. The thieves only took, like, the electronics for some reason. But, man, shout out to you, bro. How do you keep your physique while playing sports like basketball? Pretty much during practices, we, we do enough running to keep us in shape. Running on, like, a daily just for fun and mine for fun, but just to keep yourself in tech. Eating more for sure just to keep that thickness. Um, but if what, what he's trying to say is, you know, 
running is definitely good because it boosts your metabolism but then at the same time you got to make sure you're eating more because those calories you're burning you're not going to be able to bulk if you're burning that many calories so make sure if you're running and burning a lot of calories make sure you're eating more at the same time and you'll stay in shape you'll still put on gains and in fact doing your cardio is definitely a good thing because yeah you'll be able to eat more in the long run because it'll make you more hungry all right and then our last question is what do you think of success is guaranteed if you don't give up that's could it be more true if you don't give up then you will understand that everything you go through and all the challenges they're all just learning curves and through it all you'll get better and you'll just grow on you know you're growing your progress every single time so if you don't give up and you stick to it you're basically you're not guaranteed success but if you don't do that if you're not consistent you're guaranteed to not be successful so that's a very good question make sure you guys are consistent with everything you do whether it's you know going to the gym whether it's your business whether it's your relationships whatever it is just make sure you're consistent or you're never gonna succeed in that aspect all right and then that'll do it for basically the q a part of the video and then we'll continue the vlog this is our first night on molokai